Hi everyone, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. So happy Friday everybody. I know every day is kind of blending into one at the moment, but at least it's the weekend now officially so we can have a, an official glass of wine and not feel too bad about it this evening. Anyway, so today I am, I'm really excited because I am going to be doing an unboxing of Moi Mem. Now, I never know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. So I've got Moi Mem and this is the um, the April 2020 box and this comes in at £22.95 a month. It's a lifestyle box, a subscription box. It doesn't just have beauty items in it, it can have just general interesting things. Sometimes they have books, sometimes they've got food items, candles, various exciting nice little treats for yourself. Now. I said last month that I really was interested in what was in their quarterly box. Now they do a quarterly box for $54.95 a month, uh, $54.95 a quarter. And so I decided to purchase it just to see what the difference would be in the quarter box. So it's really heavy actually. So I've got the two of them to box today and just to do a little bit of a comparison, is it worth getting the quarterly box? Because obviously it's £30 more a month. So let's have a look and see what's inside it. So we'll look at the smaller one just now. So I really enjoy this box. It's very different to, to other boxes that I get. So this one right here, it says Mwah Mem, the spring, clean, the spring Clean box. So this one here, a spring clean box, so that's what the box looks like. Let's open it up and see what's inside it. It's always nicely packaged and that's what it looks like inside. So it seems to be, you usually get about, about three items in the box, but unlike things like, you know, um, Glossy Box or Look Fantastic, which you get like maybe five, um, five products, and sometimes you can get smaller versions, like you know, trial size things, all of these usually are full size and they're all kind of luck sort of products. So it says here, spring is traditionally the time when we wake up our homes, tidy those long forgotten drawers and clean those hard to reach places. As the world goes through its own spring clean this year we're, and we're confined to our homes, there's no better time to tackle those things we never get around to. Don't worry though, we haven't filled your box with Mr. Muscle Marigolds. I mean, quite useful. <laughs> your spring clean box is full of a fresh linen room and pillow spray, a deep cleansing mask, and an Easter themed treat for when the last task is ticked off your list. And that, they're right enough, actually. I've been managing to get around doing all the little jobs that I have kind of put off for months, which is really good. Uh, okay, so the first thing we've got is the fresh linen room and pillow spray. Now, this is, I suppose, this is a little bit like these sprays that you get for your pillow to relax you, but instead, this is, um, it says here, we partner with local business just down the road from us in Bradford, Pony Avon. Wiltshire to bring you this room into pillow spray and a fresh linen scent. Reminiscent of freshly washed sheets is a clean fragrance with subtle notes of powder musk. Spray it in your guest bedroom at the back of your linen cupboard or anyone that needs a freshen up. Okay, let's, so this is actually, it looks like a collab. So they've obviously commissioned somebody to, to produce this. The one thing about, uh, oh, that does, that does smell like fresh linen. That's really nice actually. Uh, one thing about Mom Mem is they don't tend to put all, on values of products on their actual leaflet, but I suppose if you are super interested with certain things like this, you could you could Google it. Now this is the Jorg Or Obey Peel Off Mask. It's unique and effective original black peel off mask was specially developed to penetrate deep into skin pores to minimise and prevent blackheads, impurities, and oily skin in the T zone. I love a black charcoal peel off mask. It really does feel like you have really got into your pore so I'm really pleased about that. So it says here there spring cleaning isn't first for your home it's for your skin too. The original black peel off mask by Johorbe Jagor Jagor Jorgobi well don't know deep cleans pores and balances oil production to leave your skin refreshed and ingredients I am um, included the mask contains a unique blend of natural ingredients including black kaolin clay oak charcoal and soothing plant extract. This is a Danish brand with a fully vegan and cruelty free range of skincare Original black peel off mask was their first ever product and the first of its kind and is now in stock in over 3,000 stores across Europe. So those are two nice things. Um, and the last thing, ooh, so this is just going to be for me. Nutty Egg by Livolia and it's an Italian confection, handmade nutty mini eggs. 
Over this, once the spring cleaning is over, it's time to reward yourself the luxury chocolate treat. Lavoli, I created artisan Italian confectionery and their nutty mini eggs are perfect for Easter. Housed in a pretty florid tin, these eggs are made from the finest toasted almonds wrapped in three types of chocolate. Extra dark, uh, ga gaiajua, hazelnut and white and finished with a crisp sugar shell. So those look super nice. Mm, so that's really nice. And they've got a nice little tin you can maybe keep jewelry or something in afterwards. Okay, so that was the first box. So I'm dropping everything. That's £22.95. So we've got the charcoal mask, the linen spray, and the chocolate nuts. Okay, now the next one here is the big, the big one, the big brother or big sister. And this is here, this is the great outdoors box. And it does, whatever it is in here smells super nice. So you get like a bit more of a chunky booklet here. And let's dive in. So open it up. Lots of paper in this. And here is what it looks like inside the box. So this is the one that is £54.95. Okay, so the first thing we've got in the box, let's have a look. Let us have a look. It says here, okay. And actually, I think I got five pounds off because I was I, I got the two boxes because I got the monthly and and this month and I got the uh, the seasonal one. I'm sure I got five pounds off. I, in fact, I did. I did. I think I actually emailed the company and said I think there was a, a sign up thing to get the the you, you got a special deal or something. And I said, well, look, you know, I I already get the the. This, the monthly one was I be able to get the five pounds off and she said they would, they would do that discount so that's pretty good so what it says here is ha after what it feels like the wettest winter on record here at my main main we're feeling desperate for some fresh air and spring like weather we're ready to shrug off the coziness of winter get outside and enjoy the natural world around us well for one time a day there's really nothing better in the great British countryside and we wanted to celebrate this with our latest edition the great outdoors box Okay, so a lot of the things that I'll mention now, what, what's in it. So we'll just turn to the thing, the products in question. Okay, um, right. So we have here an, oh, an umbrella. Oh, these are ones that you, um, you press the button and they actually open. Let's try this. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's my postman. So it's just my postman. So this is, yeah, I'm sure this is one of those ones that you press and, okay. Whoa, whoa, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, it's unlucky, isn't it, to put your umbrella up in the house, so I will try and put this down. Okay, that's really cute. I love an umbrella, and I always seem to lose my umbrellas, so that's quite a useful thing to get. Okay, so what it says here is, what does it say about the umbrellas? It says, found in 2007, Sophie Alport is a much-loved British homeware brand that celebrates country living, and wildlife inspired by a love of nature and built in her degree in graphic art and design. She creates and paints all of the company's product designs from her country home in Lincolnshire. Sophie now has 30 designs from cheetahs and elephants to coastal birds and hares adorning over 2,000 products. The brand has all of your homeware needs covered whether it's paper, napkins, a dog bed or a ceramic jar. Sophie Alpert is very much a family owned and run brand with Sophie concentrating on the illustration product design aspects and her brother Jem focusing on the business side. Sophie's creations can be found over 900 UK outlets with more stockists worldwide along with her own shop near home. She also has partnered with some great British institutions such as the All England Lawn Tennis Club and the National Trust. Okay, so if you, it, so basically it says here, you'll know that we occasionally ask for suggestions for our future boxes. Umbrellas have become a common theme, unsurprisingly given the wet weather we've had and it's something we've been looking to include for a while. The great outdoors box seems to the ideal theme and once we discovered Sophie Alport's range of beautiful designs, we knew it was the perfect fit. It was impossible to choose just three or four designs, so we end up including them all. We've tried really hard to match these to your favourite colours, but as always, you're very welcome to exchange for a different design if we didn't get it quite right. Yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, I think I put down pinks and navies or something in mine because they do give you that kind of options. And so there you've got um, a few different designs there. We've got uh, bees, bubbles and fizz, butterflies, elephants, flamingos, foxes, zebras, Raining cats and dogs and Highland stags. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with my one. I got a zebra one. Okay, so the next thing we got was this, ooh, from the Skin Alchemist. And this is the Humble Warrior Complete Cleansing Oil, 100 mils. So in a very lush bottle there. Okay. 
and it's very nicely packaged, very usual packaging there. Okay, let's try and close this. Okay, so from Skin Alchemist Apothecary, it says your Skin Alchemist is a recent discovery from us, but has become a firm favourite within the team and with our subscribers. So many of you raved about the intensive skin treatment candle we featured last year, so we're thrilled to be partnering with the wonderful brand again. Its founder, Teresa, was born and raised in the Caribbean island of St. Lucia. She comes from a family of renowned herbalists and grew up watching her aunt Mano, an alchemist and the most established herbalist in the island, blend botanicals from her garden to create remedies and tinctures that harness the medicinal power of plants, helping local people to heal all sorts of ailments and skin conditions. So this here, there's a bit more about her. I'm not going to read everything, but it's about her moving to London and how she created her brand. And it said for a great outdoors box, which was in the humble body, a complete cleanser on pat with plant power to cleanse your skin after day exposed to the elements. The Humble Warrior is an oil pooling for your skin where a blend of plant extracts and large and small molecules work hard to remove makeup and impurities and detoxify the skin. It's 100% natural, vegan and cruelty free and is blended mainly from organic and well crafted oils. Shake the bottle, add a few pumps into your palm, gently rub your palms together to warm the oil, rinse your nose, take a few deep breaths, inhale the calming scent and then massage it into your face, neck and decolletage to stimulate circulation and deeply cleanse. And then cushion your face in warm, steamy face cloth for a few seconds and sweep the oil, the cloth to remove the oil and repeat if necessary. And it says your skin will feel beautifully cleansed, hydrated and nourished in a perfect balance. Uh, ooh, and it says here that Humble Warrior is also great multitasking can be used as a hair oh, so to... Sorry, is this this house crazy? Because everyone's home at the moment. I never get like two minutes to film anything at the moment. So either I do it really late at night or I'm trying to do it just now while my, my little girl was occupied upstairs. She's uh, playing a game and my husband's sitting at the desk upstairs. So anyway, yeah. So this one, it says, After your skin will feel beautifully cleansed, suddenly hydrated, nourished and in perfect balance, the Humble Warrior is a great multitasker and can be used as a hair and scalp therapy, uh, massage or body oil, cuticle oil, after sun care and beard oil. It's housed in violet glass to preserve the potency of the ingredients. And you should find that your bottle lasts a really long time. Um... And it said, did it come in a gold bottle? If so, please email us as, as you want a trial size bottle of the Skin Alchemist Sisson facial elixir. Well, mine didn't, mine came in the, in the, the violet glass. But anyway, so excited about that. Okay, and the next thing we got was um, a product by Lisa Angel and is, it looks like it's going to be a bracelet. Now, I said they did ask actually on the, when you did your kind of survey of what you like, I did ask if you like, you know, rose gold, silver or gold. And I actually put down rose gold, not knowing what I was going to get. Oh, this is really pretty. And it's a bee and I love, love bee themed things. I don't know why, but I am quite obsessed with bee themed items. Let's see. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't that? Like, so you can see the little, the little bee. Ooh, focus camera. That's it. So that's really pretty and it sort of obviously fits to, you know, it's expandable or retractable depending on the size of your wrist. That's really pretty. And it says here, so Lisa Angel, this is the, they're very good at promoting kind of, you know, local businesses as well in the UK. It says, found in 2004, Lisa Angel's grown her business from local craft fairs, become a hugely successful multi-million pound business. While working as a buyer for a major high street chain in London, Lisa decided to branch out on her own so she could unleash her creativity with her own designs. Starting from her living room floor and funding her business at the sale of her car, she now has two retail outlets in her hometown of Norwich and a global website that houses an incredible array of products, whether it's a new necklace, a fun cushion for your sofa or a personalised scarf, Lisa Angels it covered. And then they are proud to feature, I think they said, um, we've loved partnering with Lisa Angel over the years and proud to feature them in our very first box. And our last Lux box featured was in our happiness box over two years ago. So we're able, thrilled to be able to feature them again. And then, so when choosing jewellery for the Great Outdoors box, there's no question that we want it to feature bees in some ways. We've chosen a bangle bracelet in either silver, rose gold or gold, rose gold or gold in open torque style. It's slightly adjustable to slip over your wrist. And it's made from either sterling silver or 18 carat gold or rose gold plated brass with an enamel bee. So mine's a rose gold one. So I really like that. It's beautiful. You'll also soon be able to find matching bead jewellery in her shop, including earrings, necklaces and rings. I've actually got a, a bee brooch, which I really like too. I got from a local store in my area. Now, okay. Oh, okay. Excellent. And I am really pleased about this because 
the, the, the particular video I was wearing, the bee brooch, was the video way back, I think it was about September, October, my kids and I planted a bee bomb. And look, we've got another one in here. These are great. So it's really just encouraging bees to have more habitat because obviously, especially where when building works go on and things like that, we the bees are losing territory and we're actually possibly in a slight bee crisis. So a lot of places now are growing or selling these kind of bee bombs, which you sprinkle it across your garden and it, it grows flowers that bees particularly like. So it says, Kabloom is a brand built on the concept of gorilla gardening, transforming neglected public spaces with plants and flowers to add colour, life and importantly nectar for bees, butterflies and other insects. Kabloom creates seed bombs, biodegradable grenades made from starch and natural fibres and filled with organic peat-free compost and non-GMO seeds. The idea for seed bombs came about when the founder, Darren, was studying 3D design and craft at university. He decided to focus on eco-friendly design, which at this time was a small and unreserved, underserved area with very few products available. He wanted to create something that was good for the environment and wouldn't end up in landfill, but that was also fun, innovative and appealing. He recognised that many people living in cities felt a disassociation with nature, and so the idea of seed bombs was born, a product that would get people outside, improve their outdoor surroundings and would help not hinder the natural environment. So they now, like garden centres and other shops, sell these. And you can also purchase them as wedding favours with your own customisable packaging. Well, that's quite cute. That's a really nice idea. Um, and they also partner with children's authors to create books and seed bomb gift sets, encouraging the next generation to get outside and create their own colourful spaces. So the different ones you could get, you could get the Wilder Bomb, the Butterfly Bomb, the Cornflower Fairy Lights, uh, Pollinator Bee, Bee Bomb, the Feather Bomb or the for Forage Bomb. I got the why the, what did I get? The Feather Bomb. Which is Vasilia, wild carrot, teasel, millet, common, knapweed, cornflower, and bird's foot trefoil. I would have quite liked the cornflower fairy one. That sounds awesome. But there you get there. So that's actually, if you are interested in getting that or going on that website, that's the the company Kabloom. Okay, so the last thing I think I got. Oh no, I've got two more things. This is the box that just keeps on giving. From Grums, a raw cap uh, coffee hand scrub and wash. I bet this has got a silver top, which means I don't really want to open it, but yeah, I just want to see if it smelled like coffee. And it says, Gram Arhus is a Danish skincare brand found in 2016 by three friends from Arhus, Denmark. They collect used coffee grounds from cafes and restaurants in Arhus and then dry sort and blend them with natural high quality ingredients to formulate their range of coffee based skin products. Sustainability at the very core of Grums and is present at every stage of their products from the raw ingredients to the packaging. And it said here that um, this scrub will help to buff away. If you received, sorry, if you received a fresh scrub this time last year, you've also experienced the benefits of a coffee scrub for your face. But a great outdoors box, we felt that Grums Raw Coffee Hand Scrub and Wash be ideal after you've been tending to your garden or even if you've just been for a wander in the countryside. It's also great to use if you've been cooking with strong flavours such as garlic. The scrub will help to buff away dry, dry and dead skin cells, which will be great for me at the moment because that's the state of my hands at the moment. Um, and will stimulate circulation, decreasing inflammation, improving your skin's ability to absorb your hand cream. Use drip brewed co using drip brewed coffee grounds, which have a larger and rougher texture than espresso grounds. Using Grimm's facial skincare products, the raw coffee hand scrub and wash contains only pure natural ingredients and is 100% free of allergens, parabens, perfumes, and colorants. It's also vegan friendly and cruelty free, which is which is fab. So that's another product that. It's interesting and I've never heard of the brand before, so that's good. And the last thing we've got here is the Stargazer Lily and Hibiscus. Ah, now this is my okay. This is this is something nice because I joined up to the box, they um they sent me a candle and I think this might be like a just like a welcome gift. And it is in Stargazer Lily and Hibiscus, which smells utterly, utterly divine. And it's just like a little candle. Now, I don't think everyone gets that in the box unless you, like, sign up. So I'm really, really pleased about that. That's a nice little candle there. And that is by... I just said Handmade in the UK Forum on Wem. So it's obviously something they've commissioned themselves. So that's it. That's the box. So, okay, I'm not including the candle. Um, but if you include, we've got the the Skin Alchemist, the Pottery Humble Warrior Cleansing Oil. We have the bracelet. We have the... Raw coffee 
um, hand scrub, the bee balm, and what else did we have? Oh, and the umbrella, which has gone up again. So that is everything that's in the box this month. Now, I am really pleasantly surprised by this box. It is, um, I can't get this blooming umbrella down. It's really versatile, really interesting. I like the the mix of products. I thought they were going to mix between, you know, like facial, but it's not all just facial products and creams and things, which, you know, quite often you get in beauty boxes and I've got loads anyway. It was a mix of other things like, you know, like umbrella, like this beautiful little bracelet and this really interesting bee bomb. I think that was a great balance. I really enjoyed it. I like the theme. I like the way they themed it all the way through. And it's £54. So really, and what I'm doing is now comparing it to FabFitFun. Although it's a kind of different ethic, isn't it? It's quite, it, they've got quite a different slant. I think both are great. And I think I will still keep this on for at least another season to see how, what I get in that one. But I've definitely enjoyed unboxing it. I do think I'll use all of these products. And yeah, I think I, you know, I'm quite 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 taken with this it's quite nice i think i think like i say with fab comparing to fab fit fun is kind of unfair because they're kind of different okay maybe get more in fab fit fun but i would say i get the impression a lot of these are very quality very kind of carefully thought through um you know the create the creation of the box has been very um how would, how would i put the creation of the box have been very carefully thought about and put together nicely and they've tried to use you know, very like very sort of unknown brands and looked at like, you know, artisan brands and things like that. And I think that's kind of a different ethic or a different slant to FabFitFun, which is a lot of like the mass produced stuff. And sometimes you get the impression with FabFitFun, they are trying to shift certain products that's maybe been around for a while. Um, but still, they're both really good. And I actually like both of them. It's expensive, 54 95 but I suppose if that's the only box you were getting, you know, if you, you're you're spreading it over three months, you're looking, you know, you're looking at spending sort of, I'm trying to work out very quickly, about £18 a month, really, to get all those products. Anyway, that, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me, drop down your comments. What did you think of the box? Um, I actually definitely think I prefer the, 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 this, this box to like their monthly ones at the moment. But anyway, yeah, drop a comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.